All right, here we go. We've got our wall. It's been undercoated already with a eggshell finish. An eggshell finish is the most ideal finish when it comes to applying these Boero decorative coatings. If you use a flat finish, the product's gonna dry too fast. If you use this like a satin or a semi-gloss or a gloss, it's gonna cause the product to just smear around. It's gonna be very difficult to work with. It's not gonna give you the proper effect. Use an eggshell finish. So, and I really like using a high-end eggshell finish even though it is the undercoat. Don't use a cheap product. I wanna get the metallic grit on fast. I'm gonna be using a nine inch roller. We're only doing this wall, this accent wall right here. Using a microfiber nine inch roller microfiber. It's very important that you use a microfiber roller. It's what applies the coating correctly. To do my random effect and to get it into the edges and uh, my corners and stuff, I'm using a six inch microfiber roller and it's roll over on the ends and that way I can jam it into the corners and up against my tape. I'm gonna be creating a strie effect with a turf tool. So this is a uh, one foot turf tool right here and I'm gonna be creating a strie effect, um, straight effect from top to bottom, dragging it from top to bottom. So I'm gonna be applying uh, two rows of frog tape on the edges. I don't want to get anything on my um, on my walls or on my trim. So I always apply two rows of my frog tape. So I'm gonna get cruising along. And the frog tape. The benefit to this frog tape is is it has a polymer on the edges of the tape that swells. So nothing liquid will actually bleed underneath the tape. So, so one tip I like to do. I use a 3M hand masker, nine inch paper, one inch tape. I like to just tack a row of paper down here along my baseboards. That way if my, my drop cloth slides away from my baseboards at any point in time, the paper there is, to, is there to cover any splatter. This metallic grit, when you're actually rolling it on, it does have a tendency to um, splatter little bits of the grit and stuff like that. So definitely want to have a drop cloth down and definitely want to have some protection on your floors. So now I'm ready to go. I'm going to get my product loaded in a pan. I'm only doing one wall, so I'm just going to be using this nine-inch pan. I would like to use a two-gallon deep dish pan. And once again, I've got the microfiber roller. I'm going to be using just a short extension pole so I can reach from top to bottom without getting on a ladder. So I got my metallic grit. It's been mixed up to the color that I want right here. One thing with the metallic grit, the uh, grit itself stays suspended. You don't have to continually stir it or anything. Once it's been mixed and shooken really well, it's good to go, so I don't have to stir it. So I'm gonna put some in my pan and I'll leave some in my, my gallon can here, just in case I need to roll out of a bucket here up top. One thing you wanna do, definitely want to pre-wet your microfiber rollers. I gotta pre-wet these things and clean them to get them ready for use. Just wanna make sure you don't have any lints on your microfiber rollers, loose lints, or they'll get into your decorative coating. Here's a new product that I was sent that we are testing out right here. We'll test it right here today. They're called socket blockers. So, they do is they go over your light switches and outlets to keep you from getting paint or texture or anything on them. So instead of just putting tape on them, here you go, socket blockers. So I'm going to put them to the test today. Down in the video description below, if you're interested in testing them out, um, we'll put it down in the video description. So now I'm going to get applying my product and the product does dry fairly fast, so you've got you to work quickly. I'm not going to coat the whole entire wall. I'm going to just work in sections. So I'm going to work my way from left to right down this wall, and I'm going to work, get my edges done first, then I'm going to fill it in, and then I'm going to use my turf tool to strie it. And you want to work quickly, they say, and this product, you want to put it on extremely heavy so you don't want to be light. This is one coat and you're done. Unlike some of the other metallic finishes from Boero, it's multiple coats like this. Suede is um, typically two coats. The metallic paint is typically two coats, but the grit, this is a one coat product. So. And what you're gonna do, you just wanna jam it into your tape 
just like this, so you want it to get covered all the way. That's why you got to do two rolls of tape, and it's going to be jam it in there. My edges, you want to random roll it, get it on there really heavy. And this is why frog tape is so important because you're kind of jamming it in there, forcing it up against your tape and your edges. And it would bleed if you didn't have frog tape. And that's about as far as I want to go. And then now I'm going to start filling it in with my nine inch roller. Now, I'm going to get it on really heavy with my roller. Now I want to get it on even, so I'm going to lay it out, make sure I get the product on even, heavy, and even. So it's like laying out a wall. I can see I got my product on there nice and even there. So now I got it on, I'm going to random roll this before I do my strie effect. So you can see I'm just random, kind of a random arcing motion. Here's my turf tool right here. So now I'm just going to Absolutely amazing. Do another section, continuing to work right along here. See, I worked back into where I did my strie effect right there, making sure I overlapped it, keeping a wet edge. I can't reach from top to bottom as I come down away from the wall. I'm just feathering myself away from the wall, same as I come up. I'm feathering it coming up. I want to make sure my lines are nice and straight and not wavy. All right, so we've got our wall. There's a few little, if you don't like the little blobs, you can uh, just rag out your turf tool and just go back over them to get rid of them. Um, it's looking pretty, pretty cool here. You want to clean out your tools, especially that turf tool right away, because that stuff is going to dry on there really fast. It's a self-priming metallic product, and um, it won't come off when you're done. So we're going to let this dry, pull the tape, see what the wall looks like, all finished. Let's take a look at our handiwork here. Let's see what this finished product looks like. The overall took me about one person to do this wall, cutting it, cleaning up. We got a lot of the tools already cleaned up and stuff. And I'm talking, you know, an hour and a half, you know, for just one person to do this. So it's a very fast process. It's not it doesn't take a long time to paint the wall. It took me probably an hour and a half to paint the wall. You don't have to worry about uh, paint bridging. This stuff does not bridge, so even if it does dry, you don't have to worry about scoring it. Our socket blockers, um, once again, it's a new product I'm testing out. So far, I uh, do like them. They're, we'll see if they I slopped product all around them. We'll see if anything got on our sockets. And there's nothing on the socket that came off. So there you have it, the metallic strie effect from Boero Coatings. Very simple, easy to apply. Do-it-yourselfers can do it, professional painters. This is a way that you can really make some money. If I was to do this effect, if I'm in here painting this room, all I got to do is just use an eggshell finish on this wall and paint in the room anyways. You know, I would have charged uh, probably some place around to do this strie effect. Probably around $625 for this wall right here. Just an easy way for professional painters to get jobs in the winter time. 
um, or even just fun, enjoyable jobs, you know, year round. Stuff that's just absolutely amazing, really rewarding to do stuff like this. I enjoy doing it. Hopefully you enjoy doing it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified next time I come out with a decorative coatings video. Check out the video description below for any of the tools and products that we're using in this video. If I've talked about them, they'll be down in the video description below. And also a link to our store, our Paint Life store where you get our shirts, hats, and apparel. Hopefully we'll see you in our next video. Out.